Hey guys, good evening. My name is Ramirez. However, others know me as Romeo Harp. And I started a blog last week called Divine Wisdom, which basically I'm going to talk about a series of topics. Um, I'm going to pick one every other week. And then basically I am going to do a blog about it on my blog. And then I'm going to respond to it a week later. So at the end of Black History Month, since we had an extra day, I just was sparked with this idea of creating this blog. So the topic of discussion was racism and more specifically the topic of why black Americans are still hated within America. So I'm going to read the blog and then I am going to express my own personal thoughts in regards to the blog in which I wrote, but I wanted to give a week for other people to kind of chime in and give their own thoughts in regards to the opinion. So what I wrote was, as we come close to the end of Black History Month, I wanted to take out some time to reflect on this past month. During February 2016, there seemed to be an upheaval of racial issues that began to circulate. The boycott of the Oscar scandal, the killings at the KKK rallies, and Ann Coulter's blatant lack of knowledge about core issues surrounding black people. Um, first off, I want to say that I had a conversation with a good friend of mine uh, via the phone um, in regards to the issues surrounding race. During the conversation, I couldn't help but realize that I had one simple question. Why? <laughs> what have the black American race done that was so horrible in order to be mistreated and targeted within this country? My answer was inconclusive because I contemplated for several minutes and I couldn't correlate why this hatred exists. Throughout history, every major ethnic group has been accosted by another subdominant group. The Jewish, the Russians, the Pakistanis, um, the Japanese, the Chinese, the British, the French, the Irish, etc. And I believe that you get the point. So there has been some conflicts that have been resolved by these groups and their enemies. So the question still stands, why are black Americans so hated? What power or tool do we possess, if any, that other races want? And what have the black Americans done to consistently be targeted in this country? So then I asked other people to kind of chime in and give their comments in regards to this issue. So race, race in general, I think is a conversation that is becoming a little bit redundant. I think that it's time for us in 2016 to move past race. And even though race issues still exist, if we stop kind of keep perpetuating the argument and keep it going on in regards to race relations and just start treating people equally, then we can see a drastic change in how race is viewed and then a lot of the hatred and the stigma in regards to it can start to diminish. Also too, I think in regards to race, I think that every generation and every color, creed, race, nationality, gender, sexual orientation has all been scrutinized in one way or one form. So I don't think as though one race issue is more prevalent than the other. It just so happens that the black race is targeted a little bit more than other groups or at least it's portrayed out there as such another thing too is i think that america has to stop being a country that constantly dictates itself um excuse me contradicts itself pardon me um you know in regards to just stereotypes and generalizations and you know we are the land of the free and the home of the brave but yet we don't want to allow er um, immigrants to come into this country but we are a country that offers opportunities for people outside of <laughs> our um our country also too you know you if you're a black person, the only thing that you can do is customer service related jobs. You can't be a doctor. You can't be a lawyer. You can't be an attorney. You can't be a judge. And we've seen throughout the general, the generations and the centuries that black people have 
infiltrated these type of industries and these type of jobs. Also, two people who are Latina or Latino or who are of Hispanic descent are not always going to clean or mow or do things like that around a house. If that's the only opportunity that is given to them when they come into this country, then they have no choice. However, the dream is to be better, do better, think better, strive for better, and educate yourself more. So the reason why black Americans are so hated, I believe, is two opinions here. I believe that some people within the black community perpetuate this argument by living in those stereotypes or those generalizations that have been made in the past. So by being ghetto, by being ratchet, by, you know, um, wearing pajamas to go to Walmart to get groceries, by not carrying yourself well, by not speaking um, in an intellectual manner, by not going to school and finishing school, by selling drugs, by sagging your pants by you know basically living out what the stereotype is and has been given to a particular race helps perpetuate that stereotype just like within white culture if you are someone who you know speaks kind of like a redneck and you know you're always wearing confederate flags the only thing that you do is drink and the only thing that you do is shoot guns and you don't really know the core political issues in which are going on and you live outside of a trailer you know if that is a circumstance that has happened to you then i'm sorry that it has happened to you however you are perpetuating a stereotype um and when it comes to those stereotypes, that allows for the mass majority to criticize, to judge, and to formulate an opinion based on what they have read or seen, whether it be the media, whether it be the news, whether it be um, a video that someone else has uploaded and, you know, has talked about a particular situation. Um, so, my argument is, is this. It's not necessarily why we are hated because that question is still unknown. Back in the day when they were, when, you know, when the people who were in control were trying to hold us down and trying to barricade us and put us in this box of only being sur subservient to the people who were in control at that time and trying to maintain and keep that mindset was the only thing that we had to go off of back then but now we have the opportunity to go to school get educations to better ourselves to apply for any jobs that we want to create our own jobs and to do that so let's focus more on that let's not focus on where we've been let's focus on where we're going let's focus on getting more of our youth to you know understand what a resume is and understand how taxes work and when um how to deal with credit and how to, you know, not be in the system, not be in the welfare system and get caught up in that whole pigeonholing system that is systematically built to keep particular people of low of people in persons of low income in a certain category. Let's 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 reshape everything. Let's stop sagging our pants. Let's carry ourselves with dignity. <laughs> let's apply for jobs that are not fast food and that's not customer service based if that's what you want let's start owning more businesses let's start investing let's start inventing again let's start creating our own then there will not be a negative stigma that is surrounding us as a race it'll diminish it'll deplete why because we are becoming prominent members of society rather it being rather than it being a small percentage as it exists now we are capable we're very capable the opportunities are out there the opportunities are there you just have to take them you have to realize them you have to understand the political game and you have to play accordingly it sucks those are the cards that we were dealt however it's not the end of the world that doesn't mean that we have to perpetuate these stereotypes that we have to be ghetto that we have to portray ourselves as unworthy and unvaluable because every human being in the world is value and has value whether it be their intellect whether it be their smarts whether it be how they think whether it be what they can contribute if you can work well with your hands do something with your hands do construction build something 
if you're if you're computer smart get into technology if you are someone who is about fashion then be in the fashion industry if you want to do something with music then do music if you you know do what you want to do and if you're not skilled enough to do it then get the education it's there for you it's readily available for anybody and everybody to become a prominent member of society and not just exist but actually contribute and to do something better and once everybody who is of a sub minority outside of blacks I'm talking about everybody people who are gay people who are transgendered people who um, may have come from a disturbing past those who have had drug issues in the past or substance abuse issues and are now clean people who used to be ex criminals all of those things can be temporary things you have the power within you to fix those things also too if we stop putting a mark on things categorizing them as wrong or categorizing them as right then these things wouldn't exist if there wasn't a negative connotation with black and the association of black people then it wouldn't exist period if being different as far as being gay or as far as not being as intelligent or having a mental disorder if those things weren't deemed abnormal then we would then consider them normal because we would have no basis to go otherwise a lot of the issues and a lot of the things that are perpetuated through conflict is because these definitions exist let people be people and if you let people be people then everything's okay crime will diminish you'll see more people being edu becoming more educated and getting their education and seeking after their education you will have better hope for people who feel like there is no hope and then you'll have people who are starting to learn how to self love themselves if the history has been lost in regards to blacks let's create new history let's not dwell on what's happened let's move forward as a community and as people and let's be prominent members of society the time is now it's 2016 we should not still be talking about race race should no longer be an issue it's something that has happened it's something that people still practice yes we have been targeted but again if we don't give people a reason to target then we will not be a target doesn't mean that we have to succumb to being demeaned or being shot or being killed or being sought after based on the color of our skin it just basically means we prove them wrong and how we prove them wrong those who are racist is that we show them who we are as people our culture our makeup who we are not only as as a race but as individuals how creative we can be how intel intellectual we can be how knowledgeable we are about variety of different topics <laughs> showing up in places to where we're not usually seen and acting accordingly acting like how we are but not causing a scene not fighting dressing well looking well presenting ourselves in a manner to which we show dignity within ourselves then we'll see all of this stuff diminish and we'll start to see it change so that's my opinion and if you haven't gotten an opportunity to read the blog please do so i am going to attach a link below and also too i'm going to be talking about open relationships within the next video and you can also view that blog as well i hope that all of you are well i love all of you for who you are continue to shine continue to do better and to strive for more i am ramirez romeo harp and i will talk to you soon bye